check it out on September 22nd when the update goes live. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. Starting with the updated battlefield. First off, we have added special siege minions to the side lane minion waves. The siege minions on the side that is close to the first turtle spawn, aka the turtle lane, will provide 50% extra EXP, whereas the siege minions on the other side lane grant the player 50% extra gold. However, all the special siege minions will return to regular ones starting from the 8th minion wave. Moving on to the defense towers, we have added a shield to every outer tower. In the first three minutes of the game, if the player or the friendly minions attack the enemy outer tower, the player will in return get gold. The amount of gold to be obtained is determined by the damage dealt to the enemy tower and the number of allies around. Moreover, we have made drastic changes to the jungler position. In the new update, only the player who's equipped with the battle spell Retribution can purchase jungle items. Once the player has purchased a jungle item, the EXP obtained from minions will be reduced in the first three minutes of the game. We've also made some major changes to the jungle buffs and some of the equipment items. We will leave those for you to find out later. In the previous Project Next episodes, we have introduced you to the skill adjustments for six heroes. Mia, Eudora, Layla, Saber, Zilong, and Alucard. Apart from them, Alice has received a revamp as well. Firstly, we have redesigned her ultimate skill. In the new patch, players are free to choose when to deactivate her ultimate. What's more, the cooldown of the ultimate is greatly reduced. And to make it easier for players to utilize Alice's mechanics, we have adjusted her first skill. If the player keeps pressing on the button after Alice's first skill is cast, the camera will follow the bloodstream so that the player can decide when to cast this skill again. Lastly, we have adjusted Alice's passive and granted it a mono regen effect. Apart from them, Aurora, Mortis, Vale, and even more heroes have been revamped. Feel free to check the patch notes for the details when the update arrives. Aside from the hero skill changes, we've also made some great improvements in terms of hero modeling. Now with the updated animation and visual effects, it is safe to say that MLBB has taken a giant leap. Concerned about the increased system consumption? Worry no more. All the changes in optimization won't cost you extra system consumption. We have included elements of the MLBB universe in the hero display screen. Now different heroes will have different backgrounds depending